months later, which was January of 1980, we decided, hey, we have no money, and uh, maybe for $160,000 we could uh, get someone to invest, and we'd give them 40% of the company. No one would touch us with a 10-foot pole. So Paul and I reached in our pocket, true story, in uh, February of 1980, and we came up with $700. In February 1980, Paul and I scraped together $700. It was tough. And started with three products, Shampoo One, Shampoo Two, and The Conditioner. We launched Hair Sculpting Lotion three months later. Paul and I traveled from salon to salon and demonstrated products. Back then, we were one of the first to offer a money-back guarantee. We were also the first professional hair care company to publicly speak out against animal testing. And boy, were we proud to do that, even though our competitors didn't like it. All of our products were cruelty free and still are. We went on to launch a few more iconic products during the next decade. And became inspired by natural ingredients. We fell in love with the benefits of Avapui plant and created a solar-powered Avapui farm in Hawaii. We were also interested in green energy way before it was cool. We pioneered one of the first solar and wind-powered race cars and entered in the World Solar Challenge in Australia. By farmers, this is fabulous. Our mission was to support hairdressers and fight against diversion. It's either counterfeit, gray market, or stolen and also connect with salon clients by being part of where they play. It started with, with John Paul's personal love of the sport itself. We were the only professional beauty company to sponsor Olympic athletes and sporting events to reach a young male market. We had such a talented artistic team. Wow, the legendary Gene Bra, of course, who was Paul's stage partner and our very first artistic director. And would you believe this? Robert Cromines was her assistant at the time. Well, of course, he soon was on his way to becoming an icon in our industry. Sadly, on April 21st, 1989, the professional beauty industry lost one of its greats. Paul passed away from pancreatic cancer. It was a tragic loss. Angus lost his beloved father. I lost my business partner and my dearest friend. He's my pal. And you must understand that before we started this business, we were pals for 10 years. We were real buddies for 10 years. John, John Paul was my free consultant when we were starting this thing. And I said to him, hey, this is ridiculous. You know, uh, let's just quit whatever we're doing and let's do it together. Exactly. Put full time into it. Thank God we did that, huh? Thank oh. God we did it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we did that. We knew we had to honor his legacy by making John Paul Mitchell Systems thrive. And boy, did we. I was determined to grow the company, but I needed a helping hand. I brought in Lou Jacobellis as operations consultant and soon hired him full time when I realized just how sensational this man was. Then we doubled the amount of public relations and advertising and I became the face of the company. We wanted to send the industry a message. We are going to remain 100% in the professional beauty industry and not going anywhere. I'm going to use my face out there to let the people and reassure them of that fact as we are continuing to do today. In the 90s, despite all odds, we saw unprecedented growth. We were recognized for being cruelty-free, expanded into 30 countries, and launched our first professional hair color. And we held our first signature gathering, still our largest event shared with thousands of hairdressers from around the world. Just a few years later, the great Robert Crow means was named Global Artistic Director. We are proud to be family owned. I took over my dad's share of the company and graduated from Vidal Sassoon. John Paul and his daughter, Michaeline, who was four at the time, shot an iconic ad campaign for Baby Don't Cry Shampoo. Today, Michaeline is vice chairman, setting the future and strategy of our company. We continue to innovate with new products. After the success of Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Special Shampoo, we launched a new hair care line using tea tree oil and aromatic extracts to create a sensory experience. Today, the tea tree brand has four experiential categories and is committed to sustainability, with a commitment to plant 750,000 trees by the end of 2019. We also launched Heat Tools, providing salons and stylists everything they need to be successful behind the chair. Looking to the future of the industry, we partnered with Wynn Clayball to open the first Paul Mitchell School in Costa Mesa, California, 
Today, there are more than 110 schools nationwide that graduate nearly 12,000 future professionals. Our fearless leaders, John Paul and Angus, stayed true to their commitment to the professional hairdresser. Angus became Artistic Director of Education, following his passion to inspire hairdressers with collections and techniques. And John Paul did something quite remarkable. He put the company into a 360-year trust, which guarantees it will remain independent and family-owned for generations to come. During the next 10 years, we had such a blast. We expanded into exciting new areas of product innovation for starters. For example, we launched Alapui Wild Ginger, which combined our Hawaiian heritage with proven results, as well as two hair care lines made just for the guys. Mitch, which is a style-driven men's grooming line, with Angus Mitchell as the spokesmodel and original Mitch Man, and then Maverick, an authentic line of barbering products made for barbers by barbers. We created Neuro, which is performance-engineered heat tools with really high-tech features and beautiful lines, and Marula Oil, ultra-luxe hair care infused with rich Marula Oil from Africa. We also expanded our hair color portfolio to meet the demand for both demi-permanent shades and vivid fashion tones, and we created a customizable color conditioner to maintain color at home. With all of these new products, we knew we had to expand our innovation capabilities. So we created the Product Innovation Center in Santa Clarita, California, affectionately known as the PIC. That's where our team of in-house chemists formulate all of our new products. They work side by side with hairstylists, testing them on actual clients to ensure the best performance. Our products are only ever tested on humans. We also continued to innovate the way we marketed our brands and products. For example, we redesigned and streamlined the Paul Mitchell packaging, and we introduced the Live Beautifully campaign with beautiful lifestyle-driven imagery that really speaks to the heart of who we are. In addition, each brand in our portfolio was made independent under the John Paul Mitchell Systems umbrella. Our greatest asset ever is, of course, our people, so we're always looking to grow our people and promote from within. For example, we expanded our artistic team and promoted three of our artists to artistic director, Heather Ka'anoi, Colin Caruso, and Nugi Tai. We also promoted two of our longtime artistic directors, Stephanie Kachelski to Vice President of Key Customer Relationships and Lucy Doughty to Creative Director. Pete Castellanos was hired as Vice President of Sales, Kristen Farrell was promoted to Vice President of Salon Development, Valerie George to Vice President of Research and Development, and Karen Hermanson to Chief Financial Officer. And we even promoted two of our key leaders. Jason Yates is Chief Operating Officer, and our President, Luke Jacobellis, is now also CEO. During this time, we continued to be the industry leader in lifestyle sports, from snowboarding and urban dance to karate, surfing, and skateboarding. Many of our sports, once considered extreme, became widely popular events that celebrate artistry, style, and performance, much like hairdressing. We also honored our thriving company culture by creating CORE, an employee engagement program written by JPMS for JPMS. As a company with an ethos of giving back, we donated a ship to the Sea Shepherd called the Farley Moat, and later donated a second ship that was named after John Paul. We continued to form strong partnerships with causes we're passionate about, including a walk on water and baby to baby. We also created the Peace, Love and Happenings website and newsletter, so staff and partners of JPMS can stay informed about all of our philanthropic activities, both humanitarian and ecological. John Paul's business philosophy and personal story became so well known for giving back that they actually made a movie about it. What a proud moment for all of us. I myself as a hairstylist couldn't be more proud of the people I get to work with each and every day. And our mission is so important since 1980 of making hairdressers successful all over the world. It's what we stand for, it's who we are. We're so excited to share with you the exciting new products, programs, our passion, and most importantly of all, the people that make up the company of John Paul Mitchell Systems. The best is yet to come.